Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me explain today the difference between Google Tasks versus Google Reminders. People seem to get confused about this. I'm signed into a Gmail account. I'm going to click on Gmail and select Tasks. And it wants me to type in something. I need to order training materials. Click this arrow to the right. Edit details, and you can put in a due date and a calendar appears. I'm going to make this the 22nd. I can put in some notes, clicking back to list, and it's saved. That simple to add something. Let's add one more. Hit the plus symbol. Also need to do something with my time card. Edit, due date, the 25th. So I just created two tasks or two to do items. I'm going to close task and if you notice I did it within Gmail. I'm going to go now and click and click on my calendar which appears right here after you click. Let me go ahead and tell you something that's really simple. When you're in your Google Calendar over to the left you need to expand it so you can collapse and expand it right here. By default it probably says reminders which we haven't done yet. So if you want to see your tasks, you have to switch to task. I'll switch back to reminders and then go back to task. You cannot view your task and your reminders at the same time on the calendar. It's impossible. It's one or the other. So I got my task showing. If you notice over in the right hand corner, it says task. I can also add more task. Look at the 22nd. It shows on my calendar. Look at the 25th. It shows on my calendar. So that's how tasks work. But now if you want to use reminders, and technically you can use both. So I swap to reminders. And to show you why I like reminders so much, I'm actually going to go over to my real calendar. So I'm on January 25th, 2018. That's, this is my real account. I have my phone on display for you right there in the middle of the screen. Notice it says January 2018. I'm going to go to the 25th and I'm going to make a reminder at 11 a.m. But I'm going to do it in my Google Calendar. So let me minimize this. I'm on the 25th, 11 a.m. Click on Reminder. Call about quote for training. You can set a time in Reminders. You cannot do time and task. Uh, let's make it for 1130. I could actually repeat it, which I'll show you in just a second. So January 25th, 2018, 1130 AM. Call about quote for training. Click on Create. I'm going to pull my uh, phone back up and look it's already there. One very cool thing about reminders is they sync across your devices and on January 2018 on this date at this time I'll get a notification even if I'm not in my calendar. So I'm a big fan of reminders is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to minimize my phone. I'm going to go back to my other calendar. I'm going to do one more reminder for you. So I did that first one in my real calendar. Now I'm going to jump back to my test calendar. One other feature about reminders, I have to do some payroll. And I want it to be a reminder, not an event. I want to be reminded at 9.30 a.m. I want to repeat it. When you click on repeat, you can pick between days, weeks, months, or years. Let's just say we get paid every two weeks. So this would be 14 days. And I'm in charge of the payroll for the next four occurrences. So 14 days, four occurrences. Click done. Click on create. Let me back up. The 25th of September payroll. Two weeks later is the 9th. Two weeks later is the 23rd. 
And that would be the last one. That is the fourth occurrence right there on November 6. And then there's no more payroll, which is correct. Let me go back to today. So there's how you swap between task versus reminders. If you're saying, Chris, which one do you actually prefer? So I made this. I don't know why people have such a hard time with this. So I made this little cheat sheet. If you're asking me which one do I like the best, I probably use reminders. I use reminders all the time. So it's actually reminders that I like best. And the reason I like the reminders is that the sync to the other devices, they do have a time task you cannot put into time and the recurring. So, and the other two things are equal if you notice that. Set date and creating Google Calendar, I can do the same on those. Anyway, feel free to visit my YouTube channel. I have over 250 technology videos with uh, Gmail, Google stuff, or Microsoft stuff. And thank you for your time.